what's going on everybody man it is awesome to be back here with you guys um as it says in the title and i'm sure you know why you're here is because i'm going to show you how to get the newest version of minecraft 1.21 and make it a modded world where you can put shaders on it um and this is going to be with with the fabric mod loader so uh what do you say guys let's let's get into this tutorial i'm going to show you show you step by step and hopefully um you know i'll show you everything you need and if for some reason i miss anything um you know let me know in the comments and i'll try to answer questions also um let's see i am gonna put all of the links to everything in the description also for you so yeah let's do it guys here we go here we go. So first thing you want to do is uh, I'm going to actually quit this. And then we're going to go. The first thing you want to do is go on to the Fabric uh, website, the Fabric Loader website. And you want to download the Universal Jar right there. Okay. And once you download that, you want to open that up. Why are you not opening up right now? Oh. Um, let's see. I don't want to download. Let's download for Windows instead. How about that? Do do download for Windows. <laughs> and then you want to open that. Man. Okay, perfect. This is what I want. So, so as long as you have this, you did the right thing. So instead of, like I said the first time, download Universal Jar, you want to download for windows okay um and then make sure it's on client and let's see 1.21 uh, uh, right here that's what you want and then um everything looks good so you just want to put install and so look it's going to go into your minecraft um, app data minecraft folder right so anyway let's install fabric loader has successfully been installed okay so we're all good there we can close that and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our uh minecraft let's see here and you're going to open up your minecraft launcher hopefully you know i'm you guys are following along okay so far so look right right now since we did that we have this fabric loader 1.20.1 all right so perfect so what you want to do is make sure it's that and then play it yeah you understand it's modded whatever right <laughs> all right all right all right here we go so now it's going to open up this new version of minecraft that's a fabric uh oh so let's see potential solution um Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, you you don't want that. You don't want that because what it did, what it did right here, just so you know, so this is a good example is so because I skipped a step, an important step, it um, put it just into the regular Minecraft folder, which has other things in it, which, you know, obviously is incompatible, right? So if that happens to you if you did that then this is the step you want to take okay so you want to go to installations you want to go to new installations you want to name it so let's name it uh, fabric 1.21 and then you want to go to the versions right here and you want to find that one that you just made so um it would be the fabric release fabric loader 1.21 right there okay and then right here this is the important step okay this is the the lego that you don't want to miss that messes up the whole build right so this is um you want to go to browse you want to make a new folder and that new folder you want to name the same thing or whatever you want but i name it the same thing so i so i keep everything cohesive so fabric 1.21 and you want to make sure that's the one you're on push okay and then right here it's it created this new folder that it's going to put this version of minecraft in 
So it's separated, right? So it's not going to mess with anything else. Okay. And then also I suggest going to more options and right here in the JVM arguments, um, after XMX, this is your, um, amount of Ram that it's going to allocate for Minecraft. So what I always do, you, you probably don't need anything over eight, but what I always do is I'll change it to half of my Ram. So I have 64 gigs of Ram. I'm going to change it to 32. Okay. And then also if you want to put some kind of a cool logo, I'm going to put, um, the creeper head and then you want to put create. Okay. So now we made this version of Minecraft super important. So now we're going to find this, right? Um, so let's go into, let's go into play and then let's find that one we just made. It's probably on the very bottom. Maybe not. This is it. Fabric 1.20.1 with the creeper head. Okay. So that's the one we want. We're going to push play and pushing play is going to create all the folders we need. Okay. So let's play it. Yes, sir. We're on our way to having some beautiful shaders on the new ver version of Minecraft. And plus there's a ton of mods that people have, you know, mod, um, creators right away, right off the bat, started making mods, uh, that are, that Press work in 1.21. Okay. So let's continue. And as you can see here, we have our 1.21 fabric modded version of Minecraft. So perfect. We did it right. So there's more steps we got to take to be able to put shaders on here. Cause if you go into the video settings, there is no shaders folder, no way to add shaders. So, um, what we're going to do is quit, quit out of that. Now we're going to go to, um, you're going to type in Iris shaders or go to my link in the description and it'll take you to the Iris shaders. And you want to make sure it's for 1.21 fabric. I would just pick the most downloaded one right here and then I would uh, download. Okay. So we're going to download that and it should start up soon. There we go. And as you can see it downloaded the version of Iris 1.21 that you need. Okay. So next thing, so that's going to make it so that you can run shaders, right? Um, now you want to go to the link in description or type in sodium and you want to make sure it's for 1.21 fabric and you want to pick the, probably the top ones, the most downloaded one. And then you want to download sodium. So sodium is like a, um, you know, an optimization mod, Pr probably you guys are already know about this one, but super popular, super awesome. It's going to make it so that everything runs nice and smooth. You don't drop frames, right? So there you go. Um, it downloaded sodium. Okay. So now one more thing you want to, you want to get your shaders, right? So I'm going to put this link in the description for complimentary shaders, but there's a, there's a lot of different shaders out there. You know, you guys pick your favorite one, but, uh, complimentary is the one I'm going to choose here. So I'm going to go for 1.21 obviously. And then the most downloaded one, man, 1 1.2 million. Um, and then I'm going to download that. Okay. And we're going to make sure that this downloads properly. And there it is complimentary. Okay. So perfect. We got everything we need. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go minimize this go to my desktop. We're going to go into our files, wherever your files are at, obviously. And, uh, I'm going to go to your downloads and I'm going to take that complimentary unbound, the sodium for fabric and the iris for fabric. Okay. Um, and then put them on the desktop. So they're ready to go. Now there is one more thing. Oops. There's one more thing that I have forgotten here. If I get to it. I want to go back into here and I want to go get, uh, the, the fabric API. 
fabric API because you know a lot of mods are gonna need that to run. So I'll put the link obviously to uh, to this in the description. But uh, you want to go to all game versions, make sure it's one point twenty one, and obviously it's for fabric. You want to go to the most downloaded one, or I guess just the top ones. What I'm doing, but I'm gonna download that. And as soon as it's done downloading, almost done. Okay, so it's done downloading. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go into my files. And go to my downloads and drag that to the desktop. Okay, so now the next thing you wanna do is get into your Minecraft folder. So. I already have have it in the the quick tab or whatever. That's I would suggest doing that. But if not, you can go to search and um, percent app data percent Minecraft something like that. You know to get into the Minecraft file anyway. So that's what we want to do. Get to the Minecraft file, right? So there it is, Minecraft files. You want to go find that version of Minecraft that you made, Fabric 1.21. There it is. See how we separated it now it's easy to find. Okay, so you wanna open that. So what it did when we went into the, went onto that version of Minecraft um, is it made these folders, okay? So we have our mods folder. You wanna open that mods folder. You wanna drag sodium, you wanna drag iris, and you wanna drag the fabric API into there. Okay, and then back out of that. And then you wanna to go to, um, okay, so wait getting ahead of myself not yet so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this and then we're gonna go back into into our Minecraft open up your launcher I love the little um, armadillos man um, okay so now of course this isn't the one you want remember this is the messed up one so you want to find find the new version of Minecraft that you made. Where are you at? Okay, so it's on the bottom now. So Fabric 1.21, you wanna play that. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna make us a shaders folder now because we added those mods, um, Sodium and Iris in there. And as long as we did everything right, this will start up and make these folders and we can add our shaders into it. All right. So it looks like everything worked. Now, if you go into the options and the video settings now, look at how it changed, man. So now you have a place to add your shader packs, right? So you can go into here and you can, um, actually I'm going to do this different. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open up my, um, my folders again, I'm going to go into the Minecraft folder and then I'm going to go into that version of Minecraft I made 1.21 fabric. And then we're going to go into our new folder that was made called shader packs. Okay. And then we're going to drag our shader into there. Then you can close this down, go back into Minecraft. And now when you open your shader packs, look at complimentary unbound is there. So let's. Let's turn that one on. Let's uh, apply that. Done. Make sure everything's good. I think everything's good for now. We won't mess with these settings in this video, but uh, so now we're done with that. We're done with that. Now we're going to make a world and make sure everything worked good. I'm just going to do a creative world. Let's call it. Let's call it a test um and then let's create the world let's see what happens let's see if we did this right you guys man man oh man looking forward to this this new brand new version of minecraft you can put mods in you can make sh you know have beautiful shaders man this is so amazing i love this stuff i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial i hope that i haven't fumbled through it too much and i've uh, given you the right information okay but as you can see, look at this beautiful 
Minecraft World, brand new 1.21 world with no, or I mean with, with shaders on, with shaders. Um, this is so amazing. See, I'm not sure if you can add Distant Horizons yet to the newest version of Minecraft, but um, with Distant Horizons here, geez, it, it, it look amazing. So anyhow, let's uh let's switch to our dude here jeffers craft dude hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope um i was able to give you all the right information and if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments for me and i'll try to answer them for you um i hope this works good for you hope you enjoy playing the new version of minecraft with mods and shaders on there and uh We'll see you guys next time. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good night. Peace.